Hey everyone, I'm Ed B, your Coastal Magnolia. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're already a subscriber. I am really excited about today's video. I've been asked by Let's Resin to do a collaboration. They sent me this box of silicone putty. Now I have never worked with silicone putty before, so I did make a couple mistakes. All right, and I'm not gonna edit them out. I left them in the video because you learn by making mistakes, okay? So you're gonna have to watch. You see my reaction at the end? It is 100% legitimate. I didn't fake it. I'm so, and the reason I'm excited is I was able to get all the little details in this starfish, all these little details in this starfish left no residue in this sand dollar. I was able to get so many details out of the sand dollar. So watch to the end and you'll see what I did. So excited, so excited. Okay, got my, I got my buddy with me today. Look at that, she's so good. I know my work table is a little bit distracting. It's just busy, but you know, this is how I roll. This is how I work. There we go. That's better. All right, so I'm going to try to mold that. And I'm actually going to read the directions. So the instructions are very easy. Measure equal amounts of part A, which is blue, and part B, which is white, by weight. Mix and knead the putty together until a uniform blue color is achieved. Press a thin layer into the details of the original. Apply a thicker layer to finish the mold. Let it fully cure for 20 minutes. Remove the fully cured mold from the original. 20 minutes. Huh. I do not have a way to, a way to weigh, and way to weigh. The model in the pictures is not wearing gloves, so I'd rather not wear gloves. I'm gonna take off my wedding ring. I use it as a ring dish. So, don't know how much I'm gonna need. So, like I always do, I'm gonna have a backup piece in case I have too much, I've mixed up too much. Doesn't smell either. It smells like Play-Doh. That's what it smells like. So, I wonder if I should use a little cup. I found a little bunch of these at a thrift store. I paid a dollar for these. I think these are just little medicine cups, but I thought it would be good as a way to just measure out equal parts and then not totally screw up. I have no idea how much I'm going to need. So I think I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to put it into the little cup. Pinch it out, put my cover back on. Ooh, and these will be a good containers to reuse. And then, it's actually quite a bit of this. Okay, and then that'll be my part B. And it's quite soft. Like it is, um, this is sticking though. I think I need my silicone mat. So things do go a little bit sideways from here, but I told you guys at the beginning, I am not gonna edit out the mistakes because you learn from mistakes. So keep watching. Should have known that silicone will stick to silicone. I was able to scrape it off with a scraper and salvage most of it, but this was at the point where I was getting really discouraged, especially when I saw that it was sticking to the piece I was trying to mold. And I should have just trusted the process. Tried using a plastic bag and that was a disaster too. And at this point, I didn't have anything to lose. I was like, screw it. I'm just gonna use the putty that I've got. And if it works out, it works out. In hindsight, I think it would have been easier if I had just rolled the putty out into a, you know, a flat circle and then pressed the starfish in to make an indent, but then I would have wasted a lot of the putty. So I'm just using the putty to form around the, the arms of the starfish and making sure that I'm covering all of the starfish. Now I could have rolled it out and then maybe um, used a knife to cut away the parts 
the silicone parts that I didn't need, maybe, but um, maybe I'll do that next time. I think on this smaller starfish, that method would have worked out a lot better. But honestly, just molding around the different pieces of, you know, the piece that I'm trying to mold, it actually worked out pretty well in the end. I mean, it didn't really take that long. So I have to admit, it's been a little bit longer than 20 minutes. It's actually been overnight. I just got busy doing other things, but let's see how these turned out. So this was the first one. It's really soft. It's not sticky. I am very nervous. I just want to be really gentle with this one and I may not have put it thick enough but we'll see oh, look at that look at that y'all this stuff is oh yeah now see here this is where the stem was so I did not I really don't have enough here. I think I can put a little dab of the silicone back here, but that detail is great and there's hardly any residue at all on this star. So I was worried about nothing and it's even coming off of my mat too. So yay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I just need to add a little dab in there. So I'm gonna do that next. So this was my next piece, a little starfish. Don't want to break him. Oh, this is just popping right off. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, super happy. I have Tip in the studio with me today. He wants to go outside. All right, hold on. I'm just trying to be careful because it's not sticking. I'm just trying to be careful so I don't break off these tips. Look at that. There's no residue. Zero residue. I am happy. Mama's happy. Yep, yep, yep. That's going to be really good. This one's a little bit big, maybe for clay, but maybe not. This one's perfect. And for resin, too. This will make a good resin mold. All right. This is, wow, that one popped out really quick. No residue. No residue. And I don't know if you can see the detail in this, but the detail of the starfish really came out, really did come out. And I don't know if that's gonna show up at all on my clay or not. Could almost use this as an indent in the clay, maybe. I don't know, that turned out really good. All right, so I'm going to set these aside. I'm going to chalk this up to a win, but I do need to fix, I do need to fix this one. Okay, so I'm going to do that. What I would like to do too, I kind of, I kind of want to, tr to mold this one. I want to mold this one and I really want to mold my big sand dollar because this one is just amazing. So I want to mold this one and I want to mold this one. I'm going to fix this one and I'm going to time it. So I'm actually going to do a 20 minute timer. This one makes me nervous. This one, not so much. I'm already feeling so much more comfortable with these two than I was on the first ones only because I know what to expect now. I know exactly how to mix it. I know that my ratio works well and I know to trust the process, it's not right. gonna stick. So I'm gonna do this one first. It's nice and mixed. I don't see any streaks of blue, like solid blue, dark blue. I don't see any streaks of white. I'm gonna go ahead and fix this guy first. Here we go. All right. Oh, see, I did it again. Daggum. 
It doesn't stick to plastic, but it sticks to silicone. All right, so I'm gonna do this one first. I'm gonna use my piece of plastic here. Um, and just press it down. I will have to put more on the top because I do have those little spikes there. I'm just trying to mold around the arms of this starfish. I guess I can always trim with the knife too. I may do that later on. So I'm just trying to just mold around the spine of the starfish there, those little arms, because I don't want to, I don't need a whole lot of this. Um, doesn't need to be that thick, just wherever I'm seeing that there are thin spots. I want to add some more. Get a little bit more here. <laughs> and y'all, I don't know if I'm doing this the right way or the wrong way. I just, you know, I'm kind of winging it. Like I'm like I do a lot, but you know what? It works, right? If there's a better way, let me know. All right, so I have all of the arms covered. And the bottom looks really kind of crazy here. I feel like I have thick spots too. I definitely have thick spots. So I just want to add where I need to, like where these little spines are coming up on the arms. I think this one's good. Got one popping up there. This one's good. Let's just add a little bit more. And then the, the little spiny things on the top. I'll just add a little glop there so that it's not so thin. All right, I, I'm going to start my timer. I forgot because that's 20 minutes. forgot about adding my timer. Can you see the timer? It's right here. So here's my timer. It's not going to be on camera. So let's move it on camera. Can you see that? You see it. Okay. And then I'll speed it up. So this one makes me really nervous though. Um, and I could use plastic wrap over it, but I don't think that'll really help. So I am going to just thin this out as much as I can so that I'm not putting pressure on my shell. And I, I don't have a little roller. I don't have a roller. Probably need to get one, just like a cheap little Dollar Tree one maybe. Um, okay. And then I'm gonna lay it over. That's plenty. See, that is plenty. But I do want to press down on this because I want all that detail of that shell to come out. And I think this is why the instructions do say to press a thin layer onto the details of the original and I'm reading this from the box. And I think that's, it's because you want to get the 
silicone putty down into all of those little details and grooves. And I'm just going to kind of mold it over. And I have a lot of excess. So what I'm going to do is take my X-Acto knife. some trash in that one. That's not very pretty, is it? It's okay. And then I think I'm just gonna add another layer. I'm just gonna thin this one out as best I can with my hand. And then just add it on the very top. And I think I've got it in there pretty good. Just like that. Because I, I don't want it to be so thin that it hurts the mold. Does that make sense? All right. Okay. Now I'm going to leave this. And I don't think this is going to stay lit. So you're just going to have to take my word for it. All right. So it definitely has been long enough. This is nice. It's still kind of soft, but I think we can demold. So I'm going to demold these. But yeah, it's nice and firm. I did a better job on this starfish, I think, than I did on this little thin one. That's a lot. That's very thin. I probably could, should have made, I probably should have made the mold a little thicker. So if I make another one, I probably will make it a little thicker. But this is popping off perfect. This is going to be perfect. Just be careful. You don't want to be rough with it. Oh my goodness, I'm very excited. Very excited to see this one. Can I get all those details? Oh my goodness, come on, you can do it. Remember this one has all those little spines. Oh! Oh my gosh. I'm going to have a heck of a time getting clay out of that though, you think? Man, oh man. Okay. That is a awesome, awesome mold. Okay. This is the one I am really, really nervous about. Really nervous. Uh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, I'm nervous. I'm super nervous. Super nervous. Do you hear my stomach growling? It's lunchtime. Oh my gosh. It's not sticking at all. Look at that. Look at this. Oh. <gasps> There's no residue, no residue, zero residue on any of these. Y'all, look at this. Oh my God. It picked up, it picked up all the detail on this um, sand dollar. There, this detail, I don't know if you, you can't really see it, but the detail on this sand dollar is exquisite. I found this on the beach. Um, I don't know, a couple, a couple of months ago, and it is raised up. So the center star portion is raised up and the mold, it captured all of it and there's no residue on there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You know what? I am so excited. I am so excited about this, um, this silicone putty. 
I am so excited. This is going to be a absolute game changer for me when I go to make that mirror. And I'm probably going to do it very, very soon in an upcoming video. Um, wow. I can't wait to try these. Not just for the mirror, but also for uh, some other little projects that I have coming up. So, art show season is almost here. I start back up in March and... I'll be making a lot of different things using these molds. Oh, this is great. This is absolutely wonderful. Thank you to Let's Resin for this awesome opportunity to collaborate. They sent me this silicone putty to try out and do a video and give my honest assessment. And this is my honest assessment. This is 100%. The joy that you hear in my voice is genuine. Um, I am so thrilled. It's good stuff. Light is really bad. Oh, that's a lot better. And oh, there's Chris.